2018-12 is the second quarterly simultaneous release. Here are some Java and Gradle improvements of the Eclipse IDE, improvements that have been added since the September release. Eclipse 2018-12 has built-in Java 11 support. In the File, New Java Project, Dialog, you can select up to Java 11. But let's start with the Java 8 project. If you have Java 11 code, for example var in a lambda type declaration, in a Java 10 or lower project an error is displayed. A quick fix, Control 1, offers you to increase the compiler compliance level to Java 11. There are various quick fixes for lambda type declarations. To remove lambda parameter types, to add it again, to replace var with the inferred type, and quick fixes for all the inverse replacements. Also new in Java 11 is that Unicode 10 is supported. For example, you can use the Bitcoin character directly or encoded. Of course, this requires the Java file to be stored in UTF-8. In the Refactor Extract Local Variable dialog, there is a new checkbox Declare the local variable types as var to use var instead of the specific type. There are even more helpers for migration to Java 11. For example, if you right click a Java 8 project and choose Configure, Create Module Info Java, a dialog asks you to increase the used Java version. If you create an empty module info Java file, the Content Assist offers a new template for this case. Eclipse 2018-12 has built-in code minings to enrich the Java editor with additional information. Enable code minings in Window, Preferences, Java, Editor, Code Minings. To show references, and implementations. A click on Reference shows the references in the search view. A click on Implementation shows the implementations in the type hierarchy view. That's handy for navigating, isn't it? References are shown for types, for fields, and for methods. Quick Fix Control 1 can now be used to create a corresponding test class. The embedded J unit has been upgraded from 5.1 to 5.3.1. For instance, this gives you a cert does not throw. By default, the Content Assist is triggered by typing a dot. A proposal is selected by Enter, but also by Space, which isn't always what you want. To change this behavior, there is the new Java Editor Content Assist preference. Disable insertion triggers except Enter. This setting makes sense especially if the content assist is shown for any letter rather than just a dot. Otherwise, typing an open angle bracket for a generic type might add an unwanted import statement. The Java code formatter has also been improved in Eclipse 2018-12. In the New Lines section, the Between Empty Braces subsection with checkboxes has been removed. Instead, there is now the new subsection Keep Braced Code on One Line, which gives more possibilities to format Java code. For each setting, you can choose not only Never and If Empty, but also If At Most One Item, If fits in width limit 
and preserve state to not add or remove new lines. In addition, for method declarations you can choose Keep simple getters and setters in one line. The corresponding setting is also available for if-then statement bodies. Keep return or throw clause on one line. In the past, there were between empty braces checkboxes only for code blocks and the items below. The settings for lambda bodies, if-then statements and for loop bodies are completely new. The Gradle import has been improved to succeed even if the built Gradle file is broken. After the import, the error is displayed in the Problems view. One click and you are in the erroneous line. Fix the error, save the file, right click and choose Gradle, Refresh Gradle Project. A final refresh also in the Gradle Tasks view and you are done. The project can be built successfully. These were some of the Java and Gradle improvements of the quarterly December rolling release 2018. The general and Git improvements are shown in a separate video. Thank you for watching and happy coding!